what is going on sheep army this your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about bone shiva swap token guys as far as with the renouncement of the contract as well as minting out the 20 million someone in the comment section had asked like um and they were saying like the developers could have gave us a date um you know as far as when this could actually happen the thing the the fact of the matter is guys it is a time-based contract so it's randomized so whenever you do transaction uh on it it just randomized as far as the time of how it's going to execute so this video is more just to educate you guys on what it means as far as with a time lock contract but i do have some pretty good news as far as what i've seen in the background of the contract um, so make sure you stay tuned to the very end to understand where I'm coming from. Now, before I dive into it, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And according to YouTube, about 56% of the people currently watching my content have yet to subscribe. So what are you waiting for, guys? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And your boy's approaching 5K subs pretty soon. It seemed like just yesterday I was just at 4K. And I definitely appreciate you guys for your love and your support. So to get right into it, guys, as it stands, and big shout out to Cal for actually you know doing these steps as far as like what they're doing because you could easily follow along especially if you know what you're looking for on the blockchain but a simple explanation of what's happening right now is this so you have the sheeb uh deployer wallet and what's happening is that sending transaction to the time lock wallet now since sheeb is the um the sheeb de uh deployer wallet is the admin of this it's gonna take it could take that's not is not going to take it could take up to 14 days because there is a, a grace period um from when the transaction takes place then once that happened it's going to go to the bone uh the bone contract the the owner uh wallet of bone so from there whatever transaction that is trying to get it to execute it's just going to execute it so right now on the blockchain what i'm currently seeing right now guys is that we have only about four maybe let me get it pulled up yeah only about four more transactions just to need to get approved um with the time lock and once that happened guys then they could be able to send out the final transaction for the 20 million to be minted out and if that happened guys we could see again the renouncement of bone in a few short days so if I click onto this, so that way you guys could be able to see it for yourself. Of course, it tells you where it's going to FE5C. And if you want to take a look, which one is the FE53 wallet? That is the top dog, which is the time locker, the FE53. Um, so I got a whole bunch of different tabs pulled up. So here it is right here. Yep, FE53. That's where it was sent to oops this is actually it then once you get on to here i just clicked on more transaction declode input and boom this is what it this is the transaction that it's trying to do x lease percentage update trying to get it to zero so since it's still in the queue and it still have not been executed yet they cannot mint out the tokens or else they're going to get some of the rewards as well which is going to be a bigger delay which we don't want to see happen so I, and i get some people are you know very impatient but i say this like majority of the people didn't understand what a renounced contract was for all this time as far as being in bone so just knowing about it in the last few months everybody's a little antsy and stuff like that but to me it's it's not an issue especially if they're telling you what they're doing and you're actually seeing it in the background you know what i mean so hopefully guys this is clearing some of the misunderstanding as far as like oh why they're not giving an exact date because they can't you know this could take 14 days Un you know fortunately these took less than 18 hours um for a lot of these to uh get executed and matter of fact when i was um researching this a lot of these were in the queue status and out of nowhere you know when i'm started making this video it just changed to execute so 
again, we may have just a few days until we see the bone contract minted out to 20 million. Um, and again, this is the whole process of how it's going to work. Sheep deployer, send a transaction to the time lock. It could take 14 days or less. Then once it gets to the bone owner um, contract or wallet, then whatever transaction that it sent out initially, that's the one that is going to get uh, done. And if you, you know, if you're a little bit more into the blockchain, you could check it, take a look right here. This is the time lock uh, wallet and it has the grace period right here, which is in seconds, which is 14 days. Um, and again, they have the admin for it, which is the bone. That's the one ending in 2BF3. And if you want to know which one is the 2BF3, you see it right here, 2BF3. So it, it, you know, if you know what you're looking for, you'll be able to read some of this. Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert in all of this, but I can read the blockchain just a little bit to under, to be able to navigate my way through it, at least if, you know, I have some type of guide. But let me know, guys, in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Random Art signing off. Peace.